Hello, so we are back, and this time with a special review. Now, you remember my side hobby? Four years ago, I made a video, Hobby Collecting Radioactive Minerals. And uh, it is like a side hobby for me. That's why we end up reviewing this beautiful device. This is some kind of unique, beautiful device. Now you will say, okay, sorry, but it, yeah, it's small, it's just a radiation detector. I mean, it's not such a big deal. Yeah, but not a scintillator. A scintillator is a device which it, it, it will identify isotopes, or basically what kind of radiation you have there. Now, if you remember, on my video, you see this big chunky thingy? Okay, that was cheap, that's the reason why I bought it. So I paid like 1,000 pound, but the menu was locked. So I could not change anything on the menu and no software also. Now, if you, if you think, you know, like 1,000 pound is cheap, yeah, scintillators are extremely expensive. So uh, this small device has a scintillator inside. Just leaving on one side, actually, the sensor on this one, it's a scintillated crystal, which is like 20 times more sensitive compared with any other uh, radiation detector. Being able to identify isotopes for like under 300 euros, this is like dream. Now, as a radiation detector, working fine, you can see there, getting red, you can, see, you can hear the noise. Yeah, probably you can hear the noise, yeah? We have here different samples. It's doing the job as a radiation detector. And it's doing the job pretty good. But the direction I want to go is on the scintillator part. Now, you have to understand, radiation, it's always around you. Either it's like cosmic radiation or it's like, you know, background radiation from your walls, your furniture, or whatever you have in your house. Like here, you can see it's always, you can see some radiation. Okay, this uh, radiation is kind of high because of these uh, materials here. But you will always have radiation around you. Now, the, de the device itself is just beautifully small. You can buy like a case, like a leg case or hand case. It's doing mapping, and we can, we'll see that later, mapping the area and checking the, the radioactivity. And the menu is pretty straightforward. You have you press some button, then you have like those. You have monitor, you have spectrum, settings, and uh, power off. Now the battery on this uh, small device is holding the charge about 200 hours. Yeah, I mean, you can just leave it on and forget about it. I always want, like here in UK, to go on the Cornwall side and, uh, you know, check their... Uh, Check the background because I know there is like a high uh, radioactive area. But having something like this on your leg and actually checking the radiation, that's something what I want to do uh, probably this year. So, this device itself doesn't really make sense. I mean, you can strap it on your leg, but you can't just watch and check always and, you know, take it out, look at the numbers and no. This device doesn't make sense without the app. And the app is state of the art. Now I connect my iPhone to the computer. Basically, you don't have to, you know, unlock your phone to see the radiation level. But yeah, going inside of the menu, check here. You have basically a nice display for uh, radiation level. So check there. I mean, th this is pretty fast. Now going here. insane this is a nice app then you can have some graphs with radiation level and uh, dose rate then you can have the tracker but let's speak later about this tracker then you have the spectrum yeah and here actually you can identify isotopes what you see here is background radiation but it's very simple to use it the difference yeah if you ask, okay, sorry, but what is the difference between this cheap device and actually a very expensive scintillator? And it's all about the crystal size. So a smaller crystal, that means you have to spend more time in order to get the data 
with what kind of radiation you have there. I will show you a present which I got it from uh, Radia Code uh, people. So check here what do we have. What do you think is here? Huh? What do you think is here? Magic mushrooms, yeah? But not, not that kind of magic mushrooms. Actually, those are, are mushrooms from uh, Chernobyl. And uh, they are contaminated with uh, cesium-137. Uh, I just want to say thank you for sending me this. Is you know, it's just feel closer to the Chernobyl disaster. Uh, I remember when that happened. I was on the, I was on the school, and they give us some small yellow pills, your your Dean pills. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make a sample which is uh, low radioactive, like uh, those mushrooms. It will take you a few hours to get the radiation type. But from a strong sample like this one, it's probably about minutes. Let's do a test. So what do we have to do on the app? First, let's reset the spectrum. So we reset the spectrum. Now, if we are getting the sample, and you can see the device actually start taking, check on the screen, it start taking uh, data from the, from the radiation. I mean, in a few minutes, we, we should be able to identify what type of radiation is here. And we can check, check here. You have the highest point here. Is here. And it's, you can see on the top, uh, uranium-238-235. Huh? Pretty beautiful. Now let's try something else. Let's try... Radium. So this is a radium uh, 226 sample. So what we have to do is to reset the spectrum. Reset. And now let's wait a little bit because the, the device is starting according the data. And very soon you will be able to spot uh, what uh, radi radioactivity we have. Now we are like, like what? Check, check there the time. Two minutes later, yeah? And we can see uh, the shape of the of the graph, and we can spot. Check there. You can see. So the software is giving you like a pattern for what you have there. So you have one spike here, one here, one here, one here, which is check there on the top. It's radium two two six. Pretty beautiful, right? Now you can do some pretty beautiful things with this, like changing from linear to logarithmic. Then you can uh, you have a zoom, you can zoom uh, the spectrum. Now let's try something else. We see in the radium. Let's go thorium. What about thorium? Thorium mantle is quite uh, radioactive and you can buy this very cheap from eBay. So uh, let me reset the spectrum again, reset, and let's wait a little bit. You can see how quickly the, the device is getting the data from the, from the sensor. Now we are like one minute and 22 seconds later, and already we can figure it out what we have here. So we have this spike, we have this spike, this one, and you can see we have a thorium-232. You can see on the top there. Now, like I told you, this is a pretty amazing device. Amazing. Just think, yeah, this also is coming with uh, a case so you can strap it to your leg or your arm. But for real, I'll choose my leg because having on your leg close to the ground. That means you can uh, monitorize the ground radiation. Now I'll show you how you can track radiation. Let's go for a ride. Okay, T is on. Let's put it here. Safe. And now we are ready for a walk, right? Just joking. Say hello to my little friend. Now, it was a nice ride. So the way how you track the radiation, all you have to do is to press start. That's all. Nothing else. 
Now let me show you my uh, my track. You have track library and you can uh, just load it. And more of that, you can just press resume and you can continue with the track you saved before. So I start from here. It was a nice ride, so I go on this side, here, 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 and here is the center of the town. So you can, you can clearly see the radiation uh, levels are low here and then are going high and high and higher. You can see here. So here is the middle of the town. And uh, soon as you start going on the size of the town, the radiation is going down. That's because uh, where you have like a lot of buildings, uh, there is a lot of like uh, of background radiation. Now regarding the my mushrooms, I test them. It took like few hours to get the data from, but looks like uh, the cesium one three seven it is present on these uh, mushrooms. Now cesium one three seven is something what you are uh, you want to look for, especially when it's about food. Now, for who is this kind of device? Now, in the first place, the hobbyist like me. But I would say probably it's for everyone. Now, on my collection, I do have a few uh, uranium core samples. Pretty beautiful. Huh? And also uh, very radioactive. And this one, pretty beautiful. Yeah, very, very radioactive. Now, it is dangerous, this kind of hobby. Well, most of the radiation is like alpha radiation. Alpha radiation, it will not penetrate the skin. But yeah, you don't want it inside of your body. Now, this is like, uh, you know, like a plate, uranium plate. You can buy those kind of samples from, uh, from like eBay or different websites. On the box, we have the charging cable, which is USB-C. And also you have uh, you have a paper you can scan that code, download the manual. Is this device worth the money? From my point of view, and this 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 is honest, it's worth every penny. Yeah, just because of the sensor. It's just it's a scintillator sensor, which means this is very sensitive, and the scintillator part. So actually, I can find out what kind of radioactivity is there. Now have a look on their website. This is a radio code 103. Here is a lot of good uh, info about radioactivity on their website. Also about isotope identification. And also you have a free software to analyze. Now, if you are interested about details, uh, you can find some details here about what is inside and uh, the radio code sensor. I found this fascinating. Okay, so I'll say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and also check the link from the description. See you on the next one. Bye.